Hello team, how are we doing? Happy whatever day it is. Wednesday, happy Wednesday. I'm popping out to get some milk because we've completely run out and it's absolutely, it's a disaster. Let's be honest, it's an absolute disaster. Haven't had, to be fair, I, was, I forgot, to, I, went, I went out yesterday. Oh my God, I can't it. I went out yesterday to get some and uh, walked around the supermarket, found loads of other stuff to get, didn't actually get the milk. So I've gone two days now without my morning cup of tea and quite frankly, it's starting to make me cranky. So uh, I'm, going out to get, I'm going out to get milk. Um, and I also need to pick up a card as well. So hi, happy Wednesday. I hope you've, I'm glad that you've been enjoying the vlogs. I really appreciate the fact that you've been enjoying them. I love that I just, I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it again. Um, however they look you know phone stuff well, this is going to be really wobbly because you are in my car i do apologize um but wobbly phone stuff camera things whatever because work is actually quite busy at the moment which is great but obviously i'm getting everything um sorted out before i go on my wedding <laughs> on my wedding before i go off for the wedding and uh potentially the honeymoon i mean the closer we get the more it looks like this actually might flipping happen team I don't want to oh no I'm not engaged today I've just realized um uh yeah the closer we get the more I'm like oh my god is it actually going to happen <sighs> I think it might it might so fingers crossed fingers toes nice crossed um but it does mean that I need to get some like new bikinis and holidays uh, clothes and stuff because I haven't been getting anything because I haven't wanted to jinx anything I think we might actually be going on honeymoon wouldn't that be great? Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get a tan going. Um, yeah, I'm starving, I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna get like a little sandwich meal deal from the supermarket, question for you. I asked it on my Instagram earlier because you can tell what I'm thinking about today. Um, who does the best, who does the best meal deals? Tesco, Morrison's, Marks and Spencer's, Boots. Boots is actually the correct answer, um, but I'm not going to Boots, I'm going to Tesco. Closely followed by Tesco, I would say. Marks and Spencer's actually pretty good packet sandwiches. Oh, we do love a meal deal in the UK, don't we? Um, what else was I going to tell you? Can't remember, my brain's gone blank. Oh, yes, I've got my second hand do this weekend. Very exciting, just come off the phone with the lady. Um, so we're going perfume making, very exciting. Something I've always wanted to do. Um, so obviously I had my hen do back in November, I think it was, end of November. And uh, we did, we had such an amazing time. I went with my bridesmaids, we kept it small because I don't know about you, anybody else who suffers from anxiety and gets quite anxious, um, I worry about having like, oh, are they, oh, I think I just saw some bikinis in the Primark window, they could be nice. Um, sorry, my brain, you know what it's like, what was I saying? <laughs> literally like dug from up when I see a squirrel it's like squirrel get so distracted uh what do we do oh yes uh, anybody else who's, who suffers from anxiety really suffer and struggle with um putting groups of people together who may maybe don't necessarily know each other and because we were going for a whole we we're going for a long weekend I knew I would just be stressed about people feeling uncomfortable if they haven't met each other before and spending sort of 48 hours 72 hours in close proximity with one another so um, I just went with my bridesmaids and we kept it small and oh my god it was the best weekend ever we had the most amazing time we um we had like a Japanese takeaway and did uh face masks and stuff and they brought me these cute little bride-to-be pajamas and it was super super sweet and we played games then we did that um ring making workshop the next day with those beautiful rings that they're going to be wearing on the wedding day which is just so special um and then what did we do oh then we went for fondue which was just oh, absolute i've never had fondue before can you believe it don't you think uh, it, was, it was it was my absolute dream and then we had a massage therapist come to the airbnb that was absolutely gorgeous um the the airbnb and also the massage lady <laughs> but the airbnb was gorgeous um so we had massages in our Airbnb, which was just so nice. Then we went out for Indian tapas. Then the next day we went uh, for, and did an escape room and then we did some axe throwing. Oh my God, we did so much stuff and it was so lovely. And then we went for a roast dinner, oh, dream. Um, but it would have been a bit too much for the mums. So uh, that's why I'm having a second hen do. And also because you gotta milk these things, you know, <laughs> you just gotta milk it. I'm engaged, man, I'm getting married. I'm milking it for all it's worth. So I'm having two Hindus. Um, so we've actually got 11 people coming to this one. 
So this is people that could either couldn't make the wedding or are coming to the wedding, but uh, I, you know, would be a little bit nervous going on a weekend away together and stuff. And also the mums. So uh, yeah, Chris's mum and dad are coming down from Scotland and we're having them for a few days and they're bringing their dogs as well. It's gonna be bonkers. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go perfume making, which is going to be absolutely wonderful. Um, I've never done it before. I'm really excited. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you know how it goes and I'll let you know what my perfume smells like. I hope it smells good, but I'm hoping I'll be able to wear it on the day. And every time people smell the perfume that they made on my hand, it will, it will remind them of the day and it will remind them of the wedding. And I just think it's such a lovely keepsake, such a wonderful thing to do. And then we're going for afternoon tea afterwards um, and lots more champagne. So it's going to be a really good weekend. Anyway, Linda, listen, I've got to go. I'm at the shop. Um, I'll try and chat to you a little bit later as well and make this into a thing. Um, but here's my face again. I bet you're all so happy. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I was going to wait till I got home before I started to um, film. Look at the blue sky. It's beautiful. If only, if only we would get this uh, <laughs> weather on our wedding day. Never going to happen, sweetheart. We are looking at rain and or snow, possibly both at the same time with gale force winds but that's fine because we've planned to do all of our pictures inside um we've got some stuff that we if we want to take some if we want to venture outside we can do but there are places to take photos inside um i've prepared for crap weather so if we do have good weather it'll be just like a little bonus anyway um i was gonna wait till i got home before i started filming again i've got my meal deal i went prawn mad today i've got prawn mayonnaise sandwiches and prawn quavers prawn cocktail quavers they were the only ones that were really, um, really decent. My usual order, if I'm being completely honest, is a BLT and uh, salt and vinegar walkers. There you go. Fun facts with X Media X. What do you order for your Tesco meal deal? Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh yes, the reason why I started filming this again. Seriously, anybody, local radio stations, right? Local DJs on radio stations. <laughs> goodness me they are horrendous this guy has literally just had somebody call in to request a song right asking her what she's doing today she's like oh i've just had the food shop delivered and he's like where do you shop and she said well it was an acardo delivery and then he made fun of her for shopping at acardo they do a tesco price match sweetheart all right they're not actually as expensive as you might think it's not waitress prices um, but it is waitress food so it's actually a very smart move I don't, I don't work for Ricardo. Hashtag not an ad. Um, but I did used to get them a lot and they were fantastic. The customer service was great and they really weren't that much more expensive than all the others. A, lot, a bit more expensive than play, places like Asda. But they do a Tesco price much. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So he was making fun of her for that. And then uh, he was like, oh, so you know, so you're really posh. And he was like, no, but the people I work for are. And he was like, oh, right, so you're a housekeeper. And she was like, yes. She's like this, this like elderly lady by the sounds of it. Um... <clears throat> And she was like, uh, yes, yes, I'm a housekeeper. And I went, oh, fantastic. Uh, do, do you dress up in a little maid's outfit then? Inappropriate! Oh my God. The amount of jokes that these radio DJs make, it's unbelievable. And we, it's like, Chris and I just sit there listening to it and we're like, are you, are, are you for real? Are you for real? How is this allowed? <laughs> Local radio DJs, man. They are honestly the worst. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm going to go home, I'm going to walk down my sandwich, I'm going to do something with my face and uh, then I'm hopping on stream this afternoon. I normally do, them on, normally do a stream on a Thursday, but I'm having my wedding haircut tomorrow, very exciting! Maybe I should like, should I keep this vlog open and then show you what my hair looks like tomorrow, if I remember. I will forget. You've seen what the inside of my brain looks like, okay? I will literally just forget I've done these two bits of video today and um never complete it but there you go um yeah so i normally do it on thursday but i'm having my hair, wedding hair tomorrow so we're doing it today instead i don't know what we're doing today might just play some sims um might play some phasmo maybe might just sit and chat with a cup of tea and um keep people company while they work so uh yeah literally that i really had to resist then my brain went whistle while you work do, 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 and started playing that song and then it went should you sing that out loud no probably don't sing that out loud just carry on with what you were saying that's what went through my brain right then when i was trying to string that sentence together Ugh, it's exhausting being me <laughs> oh my goodness look what just arrived there are little buttonholes i can't i can't 
They are so beautiful. Look at those. <gasps> They're gorgeous. Oh my goodness me. They are from Maranta Flowers. Have I got, have I put my finger over this lens? <laughs> That's better. Um, oh my God, I'm such a professional. Uh, they're from Maranta Flowers on Etsy. I've tried to buy from as many small businesses as I can for all the stuff for the wedding. Um, and they are just absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So they, I've got one for Chris, one for my dad, one for his dad, and one for the three groomsmen as well. Oh, that's so, I'm getting excited. Morning team, I'm running as late. I'm really late as usual. <laughs> it's my hair day today. I don't know why I'm bothering because it doesn't matter even if you've got full face makeup, you still look in the mirror while you're having your hair done and feel like a potato, don't you? Like a little drowned rat. <laughs> it's like the worst for your self esteem ever, isn't it? I'm just going to do the top half, obviously, because I'm wearing a, a mask on the bottom half. But anyway, it's haircut today. I'm very excited. Chris is currently having a drop because uh, when we came back last night after going out for Dad's birthday, I was like, oh, it's bin day tomorrow because I saw the bins. Um, and I was like, should we put ours out tonight so we don't forget or we're not rushing in the morning? And he was like, nah, I'll do it. I'm up early in the morning. I'll, I'll be doing it. Don't worry. The bin van's just pulled up outside and he hasn't taken the bin out. So he's grumpy. He's grumpy that he's nearly missed it. And he was like, well, you're fully dressed. You can go and do it. And I said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't part of my plan this morning. I'm already running late. Thank you. As always. I ain't got time to go mess around with bins. Should have done it last night, like I said. And that's on being in a long-term relationship and living together. To be fair, I cannot complain. The man is an absolute saint. And he pretty much does all the washing because he needs more clothes than I do. Um, so he just, just does all the washing and always does the bins. Which I'm very happy about because bin juice, honestly the worst thing in the world. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I will show you the transformation when I get back. God, those eyebrows were awful. It's a good job I'm getting them waxed next week, isn't it? Flipping heck. I haven't had my eyebrows done in about two years. And it shows. <laughs> I'll show you properly when I get home and I'm not in public, but I feel like myself again. Got my blonde, chopped it. We even tried the style for the wedding with my clip. Creepy guys over there. Um, I love it. You can't see it properly because it's dark in the car park, but oh, it's so perfect. And we put my little, um, my little hair clip in and everything and took pictures of what we want it to look like on the day. I can't decide whether I want it like flipped over or in the middle. I can't decide. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I absolutely love it. I feel like I'm back to my normal self again with the blonde. We've gone like super soft with it and warmer than usual. Cause normally I go for like the cool, the cool, cool blonde. Um, but I feel like, sorry, I've got a giant spot there. <laughs> Please do not turn into a big spot. <gasps> it's already there. <laughs> um, I feel like I look a lot, a lot better with, um, like a warmer tone so we've kind of gone in the middle and i'm so so pleased with that and as far as the length we haven't gone as short as usual so we can like still she can still play around with it on the day my hairdresser unfortunately i can't have helen it's a bit too far and but the lady that i've got it seems really cool uh, so yeah and it looks so pretty with the little clip in at the side i'm just keeping it super natural super relaxed um just like this basically but then with like a nice clip on one side because um, I feel like when you when you get in marriage, you feel like you have to have everything to the max, you know, like you have to like go have a proper traditional um, wedding hair updo, all that kind of stuff. And I don't, I feel really uncomfortable with my hair up, like as as opposed to having it down. So I'm just gonna wear it how I like it and how it feels like me. So yeah, I'm pleased. Anyway, I'm starving. It's half past three. I realised I didn't bring any food with me. So I'm going to go to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm going to go to McDonald's drive through and um, head on home. And then we are cleaning the house um, because Chris's mum and dad are coming down to visit us, which is exciting. They're going to meet my mum and dad for the first time, like in person, because obviously coronavirus um, stole like a year and a half from us all. 
Uh, so yeah, they're coming down and they're, we're all gonna go for lunch tomorrow and they're gonna meet my parents for the first time ahead of the big day. And obviously Chris's mum is coming to my hen do at the weekend. So uh, yeah, it's really exciting, but we've got to clean the house and prepare for two Labradors coming down with them as well. Toby's gonna love seeing Freya in India again. And um, yeah, but clean the house, tidy up and get ready so i don't this might be the last time i speak to you i think i'll probably I'll, I'll wrap it up here thank you for watching again just this this vlog is what it is i hope you like my new hair uh I actually I, <laughs> I was gonna say actually i don't care <laughs> sorry i love my new hair and that's all that matters so that sounded really weird don't care if you don't like it because i don't um but i hope you enjoyed seeing the process that's what i meant <laughs> sorry sorry i do apologize true though um yeah i hope you enjoy seeing the process and oh there's somebody watching me vlog i'm coming hope you enjoy seeing the process i'll see you next time bye <laughs>